Recycling makes a difference. It's the right thing to do. The Coca-Cola Keep American Beautiful Public Space Recycling Program awarded 30 recycling bins to the borough of Carnegie. The borough of Carnegie. Place these bins throughout our parks. Carnegie Park, Chiota Park, 7th Avenue Ball Field, and the Tot Lot. The borough of Carnegie encourages everyone visiting our parks to use the recycling bins. Statewide recycling in Pennsylvania began in 1988 with the Municipal Waste Planning, Recycling, and Waste Reduction Act, Act 101, that requires larger communities to recycle. Today, more than the 11.6 million residents, at least 94% of the state's population, have access to recycling. About 79% have convenient access to curbside pickup programs. Since Pennsylvania is largely rural, 870 drop-off programs extend recycling to the greatest number of communities. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Taught reasons to recycle. Recycling saves trees. Half of the Earth's forests are gone, and up to 95% of the original forest area in the U.S. has been cut down. Recycling protects wildlife, habitat, and biodiversity. Using recycled materials reduces the need to extract natural resources such as timber, crude petroleum, and mineral ores. Recycling reduces the use of toxic chemicals, making products from already refined waste materials reduces and often avoids altogether the need for manufacturers to use toxic chemicals. Recycling helps curb global warming. Recycling one ton of glass results in energy saving of more than 300% and lowers carbon dioxide emissions by 3.46 tons. Recycling reduced water pollution. Turning trees into paper is the most water intensive and useful process in the United States. Paper recycling mills nearly always use less water and they don't pollute the water nearly as much. Recycling reduces the need for landfills. Toxic pollution from landfills, including cyanide, dioxins, mercury, methane, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, and lead, escapes into the air and leaches into groundwater. Recycling reduces the need for incinerators. M municipal waste incinerators spew out all kinds of air pollutants and are often located in urban neighborhoods. Recycling creates jobs and promotes economic development. Recycling adds billions in value to the United States economy every year. What happens to recycled newspapers and magazines? It becomes telephone directories, egg cartons, building insulation, construction paper, paperboard, kitty litter, drywall, paper plates, countertops, 
new newspapers. What happens to recycled paperboard and mixed paper? It becomes paper backing on roofing shingles, paper towel rolls, toilet paper rolls, new paper board. What happens to recycled cardboard? It becomes paper bags, paper board, new cardboard. What happens to recycled office paper? It becomes notebook paper, facial tissue, toilet paper, paper towels, napkins, new computer paper. What happens to recycled steel or tin cans? It becomes bike parts, car parts, spare beams, eyeball, appliances, new cans. What happens to recycled and new morning cans? Becomes new aluminum cans, aluminum foil. What happens to recycled glass? It becomes new jars and bottles, fiberglass, paved surfaces, books. What happens to recycled plastic bottles? Number one, PET. It becomes carpet, backpacks, polar fleece, sleeping bag, and ski jacket insulation. What happens when number two HDPE plastic is recycled? Plastic milk, juice and detergent bottles. Hollow plastics are less versatile for recycles and fetch a lower price in the recycling market. Most of these materials are sent to Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Alabama, and overseas where they are made into new products and containers. It becomes plastic lumber, decking, docks, etc., play sets, new bottles, buckets, containers, frisbees, stadium seats. What happens when electronics are recycled? Electronic waste is a complex recycling process because, because it, may, it is made up of many components. However, electronic recycling is very important and worth the effort because up to 99% of an electronic item can be recycled. The pieces need to be separated and melted down and be used as new copper, gold, and plastic components. Electronic recycling greatly reduces hazardous waste in landfills. Recycling is one of the most feel-good and useful environmental practice around the benefits go way beyond reducing piles of garbage. As you have learned from this video, recycling tech protects habitat and biodiversity and saves energy, water, and resources, such as trees and male ores. Recycling also cuts global warming pollution from the ma from manufacturing, landfilling, and incinerating. So let's recycle.